Welcome back to Heftor Edition. So in this one, we're going to take another look at the um, Arco Linux Tweak Tool. So we'll just start it up and have a look at the changes. So we've uh, revamped the Pac-Man config tab. So let's take a look at that. And as you can see now, it's pretty, pretty, pretty. My precious. And we've got the Arco Linux repos along with the testing repo all bundled together. Got the Arch Linux repos, testing repos together here. Um, I wouldn't play with them unless there's something specific that you want to get from the test repo on Arch. And last but not least, we've got the um, spin offs. So you got uh, the Heftors, which is mine, and then you got the Peters repo, aka Bobos. So if we go into um, here and let's just remove Pete's repo. Yeah, we'll save that. Then we'll bring back the tool. So if you haven't got the repo installed, we've got little safety switches in place now. So if you remove all the uh, Arco Linux repos for some bizarre reason, or if you're on some other, um, or you're doing the Arch, the Archway install, and you want to bring over the Arco Linux repos, then you can just enable them, and the repo will be appended to the bottom of your Pac-Man file for you. So if we enable Bobo's repo, there we go, setting save successfully, we come back here and there it is, Bobo's repo has been uh, thrown in there at the bottom of the Pac-Man. And uh, when you disable, it doesn't remove, it just comments it out. So as you can see there, it's just been commented out. And uh, so that's how that works. So if you've removed the repos or you don't have the uh, Ar Arco Linux repos, then just enable them. They'll be appended to the file for you and away they go. We'll be working on the um, Tweak Scale tab to get that up and running. So basically, um, backup section's all working so far. And uh, if you click Run Scale with nothing selected, then um, nothing's going to happen. So for this to work, all we're doing is you open up in the Scale directory. And we can navigate to wherever we want. So say uh, Polybars had some um, had an update, and you don't really want to mess up your config, but you want to bring over a script, then you can just select one of the scripts, and that will be copied over into your Polybar directory. So here we've got um, etc skill config Polybar scripts blah blah blah. Now all we're going to be doing is replacing etc skill with home and your directory name and that'll be uh, passed over for you. So if we go like that, run it, bang, that's done for you. Um, another way we can do it for you to actually see it in action is we can bring over, say, the Conky script as well. And we can do that. And as you can see, Conky refreshes. There we go. So that's all been copied over. Uh, run full backups working now. So if we run full backup, it'll start off with backing up the uh, config directory. Then it will move over to the local directory, and then everything else in between. There we go. So now we've got a full backup done. So that's how that works. There we go. I've done it quite a few times, as you can see during testing. So everything seems to be working quite well, and uh, hopefully you like it. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.